So I just finished building this tool that's kind of like a V0 lovable clone where you can drop in any URL here and then hit generate component and it will actually go into that website and scrape and sometimes uh, take screenshots of the page and then bring it back with all the information back and then like generate like a ShatCN representation of that website. So when you land on here, you have some examples here. And this editor is really cool because what you can do is you can actually edit it. Um, it's it, like I said, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like V zero. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to paste in my uh, my uh, website, which is this website right here. So this is my website um, for my company, and then I'm going to go back here, paste it in, hit generate component. And I left the include screenshot uh, toggle on. And now it's going to do, it's going to go through it and then scrape the web website with traditional web scraping. Um, and, this, and, and what it's also going to do is it's going to take the screenshot of the entire site as well, the end to end, top to bottom. And this whole thing is powered by um, Scraper API, which is this company right here. Um, it's very generous, free trial, um, lots of tokens, and they have uh, both scraping scraping for LLM and also uh, screenshotting, which is very important to sustain like layout uh, stuff. And uh, one minute. down here, eventually what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the information from the, from the screenshot and the scraped HTML and markdown to recreate the uh, website using uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro, which just came out a couple days ago. So um, yeah. We'll wait a couple of minutes and then uh, see what comes out. Okay, so everything's done. Um, it took about this amount of time and we got the website back here. So as you can see, it kind of looks like my, my own website. Um, obviously the color scheme and stuff like that, it's hard to get right. But, you know, this is a pretty good pass. And you can definitely like take the website and then, you know, massage it, into, making it to your own version of it. And on the editor side here, you can see that you now it's both HTML and it's also like ShatCN components. And you can always edit these components and these like HTML as well. Get started paid. And you can see that stuff actually like happens over here, which is great. So how did I build this? Um, I set up a uh, web scraper using the scraper API. And I use obviously a uh, server action because I'm using Next.js and Vercel. Um, and all this all it does is it wraps around the uh, Node.js SDK from Scraper API, and then uh, you can just like you know send requests to the client, and then it's very simple. Um, all you have to do is you know you can pass in like you know whether or not you want premium proxy, and you know, that helps with websites that are a little bit harder to scrape. And if you want to understand how this works, you can go to this tab right here, where it says Web Scraper. You go over here, and what you have is uh, you can test out any website, and then you can turn on all these things if you want. And this is also powered by uh, Scraper API. And to the components, for the components, I use, um, again, AI SDK from Vercel, and then I pass in this huge prompt that says, you know, you are a developer, and you see a website and a React component, and you have to, like, you know, generate Shatsy and UI components, basically. And then I give it a list of, like, all the components that are available to it, and then um, I give it an example as well. And I use, uh, obviously, Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental, which is a thinking model that came out from Google, very high performing, um, on the same par as uh, Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking. And um, I just you know, pipe the image in along with the sex. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this repo is available online for everyone to just use and try. So let me know what you guys are going to be building with this. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.